Welcome back to the Complicated Art Man channel. Thanks for tuning in. I am the Complicated Art Man, AKA your boy, Al Fresco. All right, guys, we got a fun little project today. Let me show you what I'm working with. I guess we're gonna do kind of a little bit of a reveal here. So, um, got myself a new little present, being that it's the holiday season, thought I would treat myself to another steampunk hat to add to my collection and check it out. So I got myself a nice little Jubilee steampunk top hat here by Connor Hats. And um, I did do a little sneak peek myself, I'm not gonna lie to you. I already got the hat all masked off, ready to go. We're gonna do an awesome project today. We're gonna do some spray painted resin. That's right, we're gonna get back into a resin project here. Little steampunk themed resin spray paint. Um, I got all my tools ready. I got my sticks. I got my mixing cups. I got my ALCL 91. Got a little bit of glitter. We're gonna do a little light glitter sprinkle on this. Got my torch ready to go. Um, and oh yeah, most importantly, gloves. We're gonna need lots of gloves for this project. So uh, that's what we got going on today. And uh, as you can see, I'm flanked and surrounded by my holy trinity, my musical Mickey series. On my left over here, we have cream, cash rules everything around me, Mickey. We got the OG Mickey in the back. That is Steamboat Willie, and that one's called Rolling on the River. And right here, uh, we have the uh, first one that I made in the series, the Oh Mickey, You're So Fine. And that is my musical Mickey series right there, my holy trinity. And guys, I know resin can be very tricky to work with. It's intimidating and it's scary. Have no fear. The complicated art man is here. Ha <laughs> ha. And you know what? If I can do it, you can too. It's a lot of fun once you get past all that other crap. The most important thing is always, 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 your resin pour measurements have to be precise. A to B, absolutely spot on, or else it's not gonna cure. So check out the Peppermint Splatty video, and check out the How to Resin Your Artwork video. They're uh, a simple resin 101, and I think you'll find them very insightful on how to approach working with resin. Oh, and you know what? Let's start off with a little Fresco's tip. Guys, these little mini clips, these bad boys right here are badass. They're very cheap at Home Depot, and these things are lifesavers. So there's your first Fresco's tips right there. Mini, 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 mini clips, mini clips. Boom. Shout out to my wristbands. What's up? Check out my wristbands. Complicatedartman.com. Stay creative and keep on painting. <laughs> All right, let's get down to brass tacks. We're gonna mix up some resin. We're gonna spray paint some colors into it. And then we're gonna do some action drip painting, Jackson Pollock style touches on to the steampunk hat and finish it off with a few little surprises. Let's go. Use short, quick spray paint blasts. All right, got the resin all mixed up. Three minutes. Gonna drop some spray paint in here and let's see what happens. All right, guys, here's our spray painted resin. There's our color palette. That's what we're working with. Let's do it. First drop's gonna be clear. Here we go. So we're just gonna keep our sticks moving and dancing around. Doing a lot of action here. As we go, because the viscosity of the resin's gonna change as it starts to cure. It's just gonna be interesting to find the balancing act here between all the colors that we're using. I like to call that the rhythm, rhythm and flow of the artwork. Mm. 
Ooh, this looks like chocolate syrup. So basically, uh, we're going with the steampunk theme here. Steampunk top hat. A la Jackson Pollock. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's throw it around a little bit. Let's get crazy. Whip it around, let it fly. We got the metallic silvers. What? So this is the trick here guys, finding the balancing act between all your colors and get that rhythm and flow going. On your project piece here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a hankering for a brownie sundae. All right, y'all, we're about 30 minutes in and the viscosity of the resin is changing now. It's getting thicker. And because this hat is Australian wool, it was really hard for it to absorb the resin when, it, when I first started pouring it, but it's doing a lot better job now. And I'm really liking the results. I've got the metallic gold going. I've got the Kona brown. I've got the warm caramel colors going here. I just can't stop thinking about desserts and brownies. This is crazy. All right, let's bring it in for a close up and a glitter application.
just ghosting in a little bit of clear, clear gloss, kind of seal everything in. All right, y'all, it's getting late here. I'm just gonna put a few finishing touches on this hat and uh, stencil in some stars, and then that's pretty much gonna be about it. Uh, so let's get into the spray painting session and see how it turns out. Guys, this stenciling part of this project was the hardest thing about this whole project. And just getting this rubber band off right now is proving to be a challenge. Oh, goodness. All right, so there you go, not too bad. Does it look too bad? I don't like things to come out perfect, so I'm kind of glad that the stars are kind of faded in there like that. We got for the design up top. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then take this thing off. I feel like Darth Vader in there. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and let's see uh, what it looks like tomorrow after all the colors have kind of done their thing and all the resin has settled in there. Got three rubber bands here tied together with a mini clip. Let's see if this works. At this point of the project, I decided to start tinkering with it a little bit more and do a little bit more star stenciling. There's more than one way to skin a cat. The three rubber band technique really held the stencil in place. Short, short little blast to your friend right here. I can live with that. We're gonna finish it off by putting some steampunk gears. We're gonna glue those on there. It's gonna be a pretty cool hat. I'm pretty, pretty excited, pretty stoked about this little project. Let's see tomorrow how it all turns out. Peace. All right guys, welcome back to the Complicated Art Man channel. I am the Complicated Art Man and this project is almost donezos. So, um, you know, once again, it never ceases to amaze me how many different tools you use for just one project. And the ones that saved the day today were the mini clips. Boom, we talked about the mini clips earlier. There they are. Woo! Mini clips save the day. There it is. Like I said, we're going to um, finish it up by putting some steampunk gears on it. And then that's it. It'll be really, really finished. Check out my other videos. Don't forget about the peppermint splatty video if you want to learn more about resin and also the how to resin your artwork video. Complicated art man out. All right guys, welcome back to the Complicated Art Man channel. I am the Complicated Art Man, AKA your boy Al Fresco. All right guys, so it's a beautiful day here in Orlando. The city, beautiful. It's a nice, cool Florida winter, 62 degrees. Yeah, so listen guys, it's a great day. We've got a project finish here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. hat bag and voila to the la so here we go Let's zoom in here and get you guys a close up boom look at that there's our little 
action painting on top. The spray painted resin. Got the underside with the stars. A little red, white, and blue. Boom, boom, boom. Made in the USA. Let's go ahead and do the unmasking of the brim so we can let the real magic of the hat shine. This is the exciting part, guys. So there you have it, Steampunk Jubilee Top Hat project is in the books. It is the Dunzos. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments or feedback down below in the comment section. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If not, that's cool too. Give us a thumbs down. We can talk about it later. <laughs> oh, and then uh, yeah, we got the side project done. It's back there. Uh, it came out really nice. The resin emboss and accents came out very nice. Oh yeah, and this guy right here, how'd he sneak into the video? Boom, boom, boom. Undisputed top hat artist champ, Alfresco. Happy holidays, and in the meantime, my friends, you know what to do. Stay creative and keep on painting. Peace. Yeah, and if you've been wondering about who the guy in my shirt is that we've been painting with today, that's my boy up in Jacksonville, Cool Rod Rocks, owner of Brews and Dogs. So if you like gourmet hot dogs and craft beer, hit them up, Brews and Dogs, St. Augustine, North Florida area. Shout out, Brews and Dogs. Tell them Fresco sent you. Thanks for watching the Complicated Art Man channel. Please check out my blog at complicatedartman.com and feel free to leave any comments down below in the comment section. See ya. Boom, 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 boom.